Hi, my name is Samantha Boss, and I'm from the University of Texas at Austin. And I'm here today with Project STAIR to talk about how you can adjust your curriculum. Now, before we begin, it's important for me to note that it is typical that school districts supply a curriculum to their mathematics teachers that they have researched and determined to be evidence-based. This is a great starting point, but you may be wondering how you can adjust that existing curriculum to do better to support your individual students, especially if you have students experiencing mathematical difficulties and the curriculum doesn't seem to be as effective for them as it could be. In this video, we'll share three strategies for adjusting your curriculum. Let's get started. So first, let's talk about curricular decisions. We of course want to implement that curriculum with fidelity, so a good rule of thumb is to start with the objective of the lesson or unit and refer back to it with every adjustment to the curriculum to ensure that you are staying on target. One way to utilize the existing curriculum in a more effective way is to rearrange the provided lesson components. Consider starting with a story problem from the end of the lesson to help students connect conceptually before introducing procedures. In this example, students are learning to tell and write time to the nearest minute and measure time intervals in minutes. This word problem provided as practice at the end of the lesson could be used to kick off the lesson and allow students to think deeply about a real life example, drawing on their existing knowledge as a primer before instruction. Another way to use existing curriculum in a more individualized way is to adjust numbers in the task or provide number choices appropriate for the individual students. In this example, the already provided story problem has been adjusted so that the students can approach the problem with friendly or more complex number combinations. These could be assigned, students could choose, or be asked to complete them all in a specific order to scaffold their learning. Just ensure that you are referring back to the objective of the lesson when making this change so that the cognitive demand and the mathematical goals are maintained. The final strategy is to make authentic connections between students' home lives, cultures, and interests. In this example, the context of the problem has been changed to connect meaningful, meaningfully to the lives of the students in the class. Let me go ahead and read this story problem aloud. Grandma is visiting from Mexico. She'd like you to do her shopping. She has given you $40. Is this enough? Explain your reasoning in at least two ways. Here is grandma's shopping list for the Mexican grocery store. And then you can see they have more culturally appropriate um, items that the student would be considering to buy. Consider how your students will encounter the mathematical concept you are addressing in their real lives. Making the work more meaningful will support active engagement and conceptual understanding. For more information on culturally relevant pedagogy in the mathematics classroom, see the additional Project STAIR videos that we will include at the end of this, um, this individual video. Thanks for watching this STAIR tailored video on adjusting your curriculum. We hope that you will follow us on uh, YouTube as well as check out our project website. Like I said, I'll include in the link to below uh, more videos on culturally responsive instruction. Thanks, and I hope to see you soon.